Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Right, quite a quick review this will be, I think, because it's just on this. It's just a, a hand tool, not a power tool. It's from Lidl's, as you can see, it's their make, Parkside. And I needed a full-size hacksaw frame. For some reason, I've lost mine. H how do you lose something that size? But long ago i lost it and uh, i've managed without for so long i've got loads of other wood cutting saws and junior hacksaws and that but i didn't have a full size frame so i've been looking out aldi sometimes do them as well but i saw this in uh, lidl's the other week and it comes with a few extra blades so uh, let's have a look at it it was 9.99 so just a tenner i'll show you it comes if you want to see that it comes with those two blades at the bottom, one with more teeth than the other, and that sort of like blade number three there, like a sort of a pruning sort of saw type blade, and the uh, number four making it into like a, a standard wood saw. I think it tells you what, yeah, a biometal saw blade 24 teeth per inch for sawing metals. And a saw blade 18 teeth per inch for sawing plastic. Cross cut wood saw 7 teeth per inch for sawing twigs and branches. Safety guard included. And a jack saw blade 7 teeth per inch for sawing wood. Total length 330 millimetres. So we'll take that off. They're held on with little tie wraps snip them off so i'm going to snip them all off now and uh, have a play with see how they mount and then uh, i'll show you how you put it all together okay i've had a good uh, read of the instructions now when you're taking it apart don't rip this bit willy-nilly off because the instructions are on the inside of it they're not particularly clear there's no written instructions it's just that above it but uh, it's just diagrams but it's, it's dead dead easy very clever design um so for your hacksaw mode obviously just put your blade in the two normal pins here and here this by the way is metal i thought at first it was uh plastic or a uh, you know glass filled plastic or whatever but it's not it is metal i don't know whether you can see there but i uh, i just scraped it just to to try it it's, it's a nice sort of coating sort of like a powder coating sort of feel to it but it is metal under there so uh, don't worry these pins are metal so yeah you put your your hacksaw type blade in and just tighten it up like that and you've got the uh, uh, that goes with the parts I think to the front that's with the teeth pointing the right way for cutting if you take this out I'll just do that now quickly so you fully remove this end like that, and then you reinsert it with the peg facing down and you can then And then you can, if you want, put the blade in like that. And you would use that for, say, cutting if you were a pipe coming up through the floor or whatever. You could cut it that way, holding the saw vertical instead of having to try and do that. So that's your, your hacksaw mode. So to change mode, you take this off. loosen that take your hacksaw blade out this lever here that goes in that dent just swing that out of the way and there's like a spring-loaded little ball there you just push that in and you can totally take out the hacksaw frame bit and for this uh, type blade whatever you call it you can see you put it in whoops 
there's a groove there, hole there, and this thing there, that hook goes in. So push that in place, and then you put the hook down there. Pull it out, it spring locks on like a cam, and that is locked in solid. I cannot move that now. So that's like your tree branch, I would think, pruning, whatever so they call it. So it's quite under quite a tension, so got it pulls out once you've got it out, it goes pretty easy. They come with protection pieces on the blades, by the way. The two big blades, the hacksaw ones, don't they're just wrapped together with um if you wonder if you think you've only got one, they are wrapped together tightly with like a plastic wrap. And then the big sort of that tenon saw type thing goes in the same. There's little grooves in here that correspond to these grooves here. And it goes in the same. Pushes in, push that thing down in the slot, and then pull it back against the can. And again, that feels solid in there. So uh, let's go outside now and just cut through, through some uh, some wood, some metal, some plastic, and uh, see how they do. Okay, so we've got some wood laminate left in here from a, a previous test I've just done. I'm going to use this blade. I uh, probably wouldn't use this on this. I'd probably use a, a finer blade, maybe even one of the, the hacksaw type blades on something this thin to get a nice edge, but uh, you'll get the idea. So. As you can see, it's going through pretty easy. So this is the sort of wood you'd normally sort of saw with it. that blade. We'll try the uh, the pruning type saw blade. They feel reasonably sharp these. I felt sharper on individual saws but uh, not quite sharp. Now the teeth on this feel a lot sharper and as you probably know these saws they cut when you pull them. So as you shove it there it's not as sharp. You pull it back you can feel the teeth digging into my hand so so you can see it's a lot harder to, to get going because they're a coarser deeper thing but I've not got this gripped very well, it's hard to turn a crypt triangular wood in here. I've lost these plastic bits. If uh, anybody from Works, WORX, is watching this, if they want to send me one of their Pegasus workbenches, I would be more than pleased to review it. But yeah, just holding it in with my hand now. Definitely not as easy with it cutting on the pull, but I think it's because I was pressing. Yeah, I think it's because I was pressing a bit too hard. If you just let the weight of the saw do it, it seems to be better. Yeah, that's a lot easier now. I was pressing too hard. I'm not used to this sort of uh, saw blade. In fact, I don't think I've ever used one before. Right, let's go back to the hacksaw now. So this is the, uh, as you can see, the 18 teeth per inch. Slightly less teeth per inch. It says more for cutting plastic, so this is what you'd use this for. for. As you can see, it's only plastic, so it zips through it easy. I'll try it on some uh, wood laminate. Yeah, this is uh, being a lot finer, it shouldn't tear like the other one would. Oops. So 
so yeah that's suitable for going through that sort of thing and the, we'll put the finer tooth one in now and cut some metal so we'll try cutting a copper with the uh, we've still got the 18 paint to come off it now but we've still got the 18 teeth per inch in so just a bit of copper pipe And it is a bit, it's definitely catching, so we'll put the uh, the finer tooth one in. Okay, so we've got the uh, the 24 teeth per inch one in now. It should cut a bit better. Obviously, you would normally use a junior hacksaw for this, but uh, we'll just see how this is. Yeah, that's a lot better. It's not snagging. See that didn't didn't snag at all so uh, yeah same pretty sharp blades so yeah for a, a tenner i don't think you can go wrong you, you saw how it how it sawed through the various materials out there um as i said i've never used this sort of blade before this pruning blade or whatever you call it never really had a need um but this say fine you can see it's got the protective shield on now as this, so you're not going to cut yourself. This seems extremely sharp. And as you saw then, the mistake I was made was trying to push it in like a, a normal sort of saw. But no, if you just let the weight do it as you pull back, it, it got through. And it's it's a lot easier when you think doing a branch at arm's length, pulling it towards you than trying to push it away. So that's what to use that for. That for the Chunky Award. And like I say, you've got your two hacksaw blades and you definitely could feel the difference. Trying to saw through like thin-walled copper pipe with the uh, this one. The, I forget how many teeth was it, 18 teeth per minute, uh, per inch instead of 24. You could definitely uh, tell the difference. So the fine tooth one for, for metal, this one for plastics, things like that. So yeah, I mean, I only got it for the hacksaw part, really. The other blades are a bonus. I've got similar saws that I'd use for that, a full, you know, tenon type saw and, and longer full saw. But uh, yeah, quite a nice frame. Um, easy mechanism and everything. So hopefully it's been of some use if you're uh, thinking of uh, getting something like that. So uh, yeah, tenor, can't go wrong. So thanks for sticking with me to the very, very end of the video. If you have uh, found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, give me a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, please click the little picture here of the shed. And then once you've done that, click the bell icon below and you'll be informed of any new updates I, uh, I upload. So uh, hopefully see you for the next one. Thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.